Hello, this is George Edmondson from MotionVFX.com. Today we are looking at the new product from MotionVFX Timelines. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to replace gap clips with your own footage, make changes to titles, and enable or disable different elements that come pre-installed and pre-edited in your timeline. So let's first get started by taking a look at the timeline as it looks once you simply open the default edit. So you can see that we already have some songs here. These songs are 190 beats per minute. So that is our timeline there. And we have multiple songs to choose from so that we can really quickly figure out what we want to do in this edit. You can also see that we have multiple markers. These markers are indications on where a cut can happen and it will still work out well if you would like. And then we've got our red markers and these are where we think that cuts really make sense with this type of edit on this type of timeline. You can see that we have multiple gap clips already here inside of our timeline. Now, this is really, really useful because what we are able to do is replace these gap clips with our footage. So we want to start off with one of our clips here. So I'm going to just go ahead and take a look at our opening clip. This one is really good. Let me see what this one looks like. I think I like this one better. So I'm simply going to click and drag and I'm going to go into my gap clip here and when I hover over it and release, you can see that we have replace, replace from start, replace from end, replace with retime to fit. I believe that the best thing to do is replace from start. I know that the very beginning of this clip is exactly where I want it to begin. So I'm going to click replace from start. And there you go, you already have that first edit complete with your frame, with some text and things going on inside. And then we go right into our next clip. This next clip, I would like to use this clip right here, but let's just say that I want to move a little bit more into my clip here. So maybe I want to start right there where, where she is raising her hand here. So I'm going to click I. And now I know that that is the beginning of the clip I've selected. I'm going to click, drag it in, let go, and again, replace from start. And you can see that that is going to start right there where my endpoint was created. I can do this on down the entire timeline. So watch this really sped up version of me doing this. Okay, and that quickly I was able to have a really great edit already complete. In total, that took me about two and a half minutes to place all of the footage, and I know that it is already going to look great. Now, if you wanted to make changes to anything, let's say in our typography, we can simply click that, go over to our inspector, and you're going to have all of the tools that you need to make quick changes just like you would any other Motion VFX title and template. These are, again, gonna come pre-installed in any timeline that you purchase. If you want to enable or disable anything, such as our frame here, we can just highlight it and tap V, and there you go, no more frame. Everything is totally customizable. Thank you for checking out this quick tutorial on how to insert your own footage into these pre-edited timelines. They are now available on MotionVFX.com. Be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.